So something we've been getting a little bit more detail on at E3 this year regarding Final Fantasy VII Remake is just the overall scope of the project. Now not all of this is new information, but Square have been giving us a little bit more detail on some of those things that we already do know, and have known for a while in fact. What we already know for sure is that the Final Fantasy VII project is going to be taking place over multiple releases. Okay, so as you know, the release date is March 2020. But what's been released then is not the full remake project, but only part one of the project. Now, this is going to encompass all parts of the original game that took place in Midgar. So for those of you familiar with the original game, you'll know that was about half of the content on disc one. That is what is being expanded now into the uh, game that we're getting next year. And it is going to be expanded into a full game. Square are absolutely trying to hammer this point home. A lot of people have not been happy with the episodic nature of the remake project. Square want to be absolutely clear about this. Whether it will abate feels or not, I'm not sure. But they do want to be clear about it. That each part will be a game unto itself. Okay, so what we get next year is the same in scope as any other full Final Fantasy game that we've been used to over the last 10 years or so. And they do want to reiterate that point. They have been doing so at E3 once again. So next year, you will be getting your hands on part one of the remake, and that will encompass the Midgar section of the original game. And that is what you will be getting on two discs. So again, a lot of people were confused about this. The two discs that are being released are not multiple parts of the project, those two discs are solely for this first part that's focused on Midgar. Again, completely expanded into a full game. Now, how many episodes are they, go uh, are they going to be in total? We don't know. And according to Kitazi, in a behind the scenes uh, E3 press interview, even they don't know. So this is clearly a long term project that they're working on. I'll just quote Kitazi for you. He says that the company doesn't know how many games will span the... Comp oh, something's got it in my eye. Oh, I don't know what that was. Anyway, I was quoting Kitazi. Yeah, he said he, the company doesn't know how many games will span the complete Final Fantasy VII Remake because they don't know yet. So, according to Kitazi, they haven't even decided amongst themselves just how many full games this project is going to cover. So perhaps they do have some idea behind the scenes. It seems a little bit uh, unreasonable to me that they wouldn't have some concept of how they want to split this project. But publicly they're saying that even they themselves don't yet know. But seeing as how the uh, first game is only going to be covering Midgar, and for the longest time perhaps we assumed it would cover at least the first disc of the original game, which includes Midgar and quite a bit of content after that. That's not happening. It is only Midgar. I suspect they could literally drag this out over the next three or four maybe even five years uh, if they released one game a year uh, which i suspect is probably the minimum we're going to get then uh, we could see you know three four or even five parts and depending on how successful the project is still doing at that point if it's still selling very well i doubt they're going to want to give up anytime soon and we can expect things to continue on with the rest of the compilation project of the original Final Fantasy VII. So I suspect the story will continue on even after the final showdown with Sephiroth. But I guess that all depends on how sales are and how much money they have coming in off the, uh, off the franchise. So this is going to be a huge project, clearly. Um, there's no end in sight at the moment. And... Whether that's a good thing or bad thing, I will leave for you to decide, uh, since I guess that's going to be quite a divisive issue. But yeah, the game is still episodic, still going to be split into multiple parts, but each part is supposed to be, as we're told, going to be big. Okay, the size of a full game. Next year, March 2020, you'll be getting two discs, uh, which encompass the first part, which is based around Midgar, as I say, and only Midgar. Okay, they've been very clear about that. Uh, but obviously it's expanded, so it'll be a lot more in that uh, section of Midgard than we got in the original Final Fantasy VII. But please do let me know what you think about this. Are you happy that the Final Fantasy VII Remake project is being stretched in this way? You know, I know a lot of fans love Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I certainly count myself as, uh, as one of those, but I'm not sure if everybody's going to be pleased 
with um, you know the potential burnout that, that, that could be present with trying to play so much of one particular game. But yeah, please do share your thoughts on that in the comment section and see you next time. Don't forget to stay subscribed if you want to see more of the game going forward. I'll make sure to bring any news and updates to you as and when they materialise. But that's it from me for today. See you next time. Well, thank you so much for stopping by checking out the video today. Now, perhaps you might consider becoming a YouTube channel member. Doing so not only supports me as a creator, but it also bestows upon you certain cool bonuses, such as the ability to have your name stand out in YouTube comments and live stream chats, as well as having yourself credited in every future upload that I do. If that sounds interesting, check out the join button, which you can find just below if watching on PC.